In today's video, I'm going to unbox and review the Tushy Bidet. Let's jump straight in. Here's the box it came with. Uh, pretty simple, a little dented, um, but pretty straightforward. And let's open it up. Uh, we got a whole bunch of text, so if you want to pause and read that, you can. And then here is the unit or the bidet. So I got the blue color. They do have this in a lot of different color options, uh, but this blue one was a special, uh, which kind of incentivized me to get it. And here is the bidet itself. So it uh, looks like a relatively simple thing. Uh, let's go further into the box and see what we have here. All right, now we got a few more parts available in here. Um, it looks like we do have a uh, little fun magazine pamphlet book type thing. So that's fun. A uh, how-to guide. All right, and then here's another little adapter. One thing I will say is all of the packaging is recyclable. So uh, bonus points for recyclable packaging. All right, now it's time to get this tushy installed. Okay, so I got the Tushy hooked up. Um, hooking up all the parts into the Tushy was easy enough, wasn't too bad. I will say my toilet, however, um, hasn't had things taken off of it in a long time, so it actually took a ton of elbow grease to undo my own hose. So your toilet might be a little bit better than mine. Um, hooking things into the tushy and putting that on was fine, but my own personal toilet gave me some troubles. I would recommend having a towel handy. I definitely spilled some water. Okay, so have it hooked up. Let's uh, try turning it on for the first time. Let's see. Hey, there. Ah! Okay, let's give you a little idea of the power of this guy. <laughs> yes! <laughs> so it's got some splash. All right, well, the only thing to do now is to wait for duty to call and give it a try over the next few days. I did just sit on it and try it out without having to go um, and was impressed with the power as well as the accuracy. The little uh, aimer actually works pretty darn well. Um, it definitely gave me a bit of a shock, um, but we'll have to try it out over the next week and let you know how it goes. It has been about a month of using the Tushy Bidet, and I have a few thoughts about it. Let's start with an overview of the unit. One, the price. The price wasn't bad. Like I said, I spent about $90 on the bidet. It wasn't horrible, but it's not exactly cheap neither. Two, the installation. I had some issues with my own toilet, but overall the installation was pretty darn simple and most people should be able to do it with no issue. Now let's dive into how using the bidet was. Like I said, I've been using this bidet for about a month now. And I have a few thoughts. Let's start with the two main features of the bidet. We have the spinning dial to adjust the pressure of the stream, and then we have the little switch to aim. A really simple unit, both the pressure dial as well as the aimer were effective. I was able to effectively increase the pressure, decrease the pressure, and aim the stream of water really, really well. So those features were great. Now, without getting into too much of the dirty details, I'll let you know my thoughts of actually getting and using the bidet. It took several weeks to even figure out really how to use the bidet effectively. At first, the stream of water was, it felt so powerful, it was almost painful. But I found after a few weeks that I got used to the pressure and ended up turning the pressure up all the way and found that that did the best cleaning. So a month in, there's definitely a learning curve, but as far as cleaning me up, it feels like the bidet has done a really good job at cleaning. I used to use wet wipes before. I would say it's relatively comparable, but it is nice to be able to use the water now instead of just relying on wet wipes. Here is where I didn't really expect to run into issues, but is with toilet paper. I guess I never really imagined just using a bidet would leave so much water on your bum. And going into getting the bidet, I almost thought we'd be able to just stop buying toilet paper. Unfortunately, that is not the case. 
I think over time I'll get better at using less and less toilet paper to dry off my bum. But for the time being, I end up using quite a bit of toilet paper just to dry myself off and make sure that everything is clean down there after I've used the bidet. But that's really going to do it. The Tushy Bidet, it's a good looking unit, easy to install, not too expensive. And if you're someone who's just using normal toilet paper as is, it's definitely providing a better cleaning experience. And I definitely feel much cleaner after I'm done with it. Now, I think wet wipes are a good alternative if you wanna go down that route, but this bidet is a great entry level bidet that I'm definitely using quite a lot. I plan on continuing to use the bidet and hopefully I'll get better at using it. There might be a few techniques or things that I can do to make the experience even better. But overall, if you're in the market for a kind of cheaper entry level bidet, the Tushy Bidet should be a good one to use. Well, that's gonna do it for this review video. If you have any questions about the bidet, feel free to leave a comment below. But thank you so much for watching, and as always, thank you for keeping it real with Ryan.